All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is for three rounds of fighting at 74 kilograms. Please welcome your first fighter to the blue corner. Here comes Lettuce Love! Hardy, but, but, but. So next up, we have a super fight over three three-minute rounds of action. And Chris, this is a rematch. Lanza Horvath of the Eagle Throw Fight Championship. Making his way to the ring. Letting win three losses to the KOs. On his record, looking to put things straight tonight. And his opponent to make his way to the ring, Anthony O'Coley. As I said, this is the rematch from the Storm Gym in Luton. Eight wins, four losses, also three KOs. But when these two men met the last time, it was O'Coley that came out the winner. And he said before this bout, I intend to do the same again. So as Chris Batchelor calls them together, Chris, this, as I said, is the rematch. Horvath, the slightly older at 34, but both men in their 30s are Coley just 30. Slovakian Horvath, very good boxer, simply enjoys fighting. Now, Coley has said of this rematch, I beat him last time. I've really got to prove to him that he can't win. I'm going to do it harder and faster this time. Did you mention the boxing experience of Horvath? That's what he said was going to be the difference here tonight. Coley said it's my kicks to watch out for. Body, head, leg, I'm going to make him pay every single position that we exchange. So, already going to work with that right roundhouse, attacking the lead leg. Okoli, 1, 2, 10. Well, Okoli says, I've got a machine mentality. I'm cool and always in command. And I believe I'm even stronger this time around. And so he doesn't give Horvath a chance in this one. Nice chopping low kick again. He's got to keep that guard up high, though, because he knows that Horvath is trying to time his kicks. Lazy single kick can make you eat a punch. Well, you can see the right-hand counter from Horvath, but that lead leg is already taking damage. He's got to start checking because Okoli is really going to work on the left leg of Horvath. Now, Chris, when you ask a fighter why he likes to fight, Okoli said very simply, I've got four brothers. I was always going to be a fighter. Yeah, I grew up uh, watching pro wrestling, so it was always going to go down. But I love the fact that he said, I worked on my strength and conditioning. I wanted to be bigger for the weight class. And I think that's an important skill to consider when you've got a guy who obviously is also really strong for the weight. Horvath looking really solid with the cut. But I think uh, in more ways than one, Okoli's setting up those kicks, being really smart right now, controlling center ring and maintaining that disciplined guard. For me, that was one of the keys to victory he needed to make sure he paid attention to tonight. He's uh, off to an early good start, I would say. Well, the thing is for me, Chris, this one is all about range. And you can see when it gets to a certain range, Horvath is very good with the boxing, but what Okoli does is change the range, change how often he comes in, where he comes in and out. Like with that jumping knee, and that jumping knee landed cleanly, Chris. 
a spectacular right knee to the midsection. And Hornbath down to the floor. Collapsed him like a folding chair, Malcolm. It's That's all it. over, Chris. That's it's it. all over. And the rematch, as predicted, Old Coley does it in style tonight. He said he'd be stronger, he'd be faster, and he'd do it earlier, and he did. It was a battle of ranges, Chris. When it was at boxing range, you could see what Horvath could do. But Okoli never let it stay there. For me, it was the variety of, of his technique that won this. And then we saw that explosive jumping knee. Yeah, Okoli told him earlier at the weigh-in yesterday, you will not come back for more after I get you. And that is exactly what he did beautiful right knee and again it's that kind of deceptive distance management when you make a guy think about the range that you're engaging and all of a sudden you break that pattern coming in there blitzkrieg with that right knee to the midsection one of those and it was one and done all right ladies and gentlemen the end comes in two minutes nine seconds in the very first round as our referee chris patrick will stop this contest declaring your winner Some, I have some snack bags and stuff for all you guys. That'd be good, yeah. Cool, thanks, Bob. Yeah, I appreciate it.